Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing as the Commonwealth here in the Open Universalis 4. We are going to have some period of peace here for some time. And we could do a couple little wars here and there, but I think for the most part we're going to stay at peace. Uh, I want Brunswick and Anhalt to go get go get some land. Go to war, get some land, just go nuts, you know? Because they're small right now, they're impressionable, and they're kingdoms. So we could vassalize them at the drop of a hat. And they're not electors, so we could easily just vassalize them and ex them. Not a problem. And we're looking at um, finishing up the expansion idea group very soon here. We need just a couple more points. And that'll give us CBs against everyone in Asia. Which means we can go invade Japan and make them a protectorate. Invade Ming, make them a protectorate. And so on and so on. Which we will do. Although we're going to have to build a navy for, the, for that coast if we want to go invade Japan. I hadn't even thought about that. But yeah, invading Japan is going to be tough without a navy. Hmm, maybe we'll save Japan for last. Maybe what we'll do is we can colonize our way down here until we border them. And then once we reach the coast, we can start building a navy over there. Because we have... Actually, we're over our naval limit. I was going to say we have room for navy, but we don't. And France, if his king dies, he's going to get a Jagiellon, which means we can claim his throne. Oh, that's going to be great. Please, king of France, just die. And it looks like Milan is invading Switzerland. Yeah, they are. Have you cored these? Yep, he's already cored both of these, so good for you, Milan. There we go. There's the idea. All right, so now we should have, at the end of the month, we should have CBs on Ming. And I think we'll start off with Ming. Just go ballistic. Be like, hey, hey, you're a protectorate now. Dee -dee 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 -dee. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, and I need a freaking diplomat. Um, well, I guess we can wait for one of them to finish. There is no real rush. Tech up the military. Are we ahead? We're three years ahead on military tech. Holy shit. We could take another military idea group, but we have to get our admin tech up first. Well, we'll just hold on to the points, I guess. Wow. We're getting so many military points. You guys want a loan yet? I don't think he does. Morocco wants access. Sure, you're a little one province minor that is completely surrounded by Portugal. So, of course you need access to the Commonwealth. That makes sense. Sure, whatever. What the fuck do you need access for? Look at this, he's getting access through a whole bunch of people that don't need... He has access through a Juron. Why? What the fuck? Yeah. And Malindi, and Mombasa, and Kilwa, and Songhai. What do you need access to them for? What the fuck, Morocco? <laughs> He's at war with Portugal. Who surrounds him? You don't need access to go invade Portugal. They're right next to you. Just walk outside your door and go in any direction. You're in Portugal. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> don't try to make sense with the AI. You'll, you'll lose every time. The AI does not follow logic, no matter what. Hundred and forty-nine. Let's see who's almost done. That's going to be fifty-four more points. Uh, Sixty-nine more points. Seventy-two more points. It's going to take a while. Wow. 38 more, no, 28 more points. So this one's almost done. Hesse is almost done. Okay. Oh, our colony is done. Excellent. Instacore. And let's move on to Surgate. Nice. 
Salon has refused Bohemia's demand for Furler land. Well, big surprise, Milan doesn't want to give up land that they've conquered. I don't think anyone ever wants to give up land that they've conquered. And Oh, Saxony is no longer voting for us. Really? Really? He's now voting for Hesse. Why are you voting for Hesse? What the fuck? Hmm. That's disturbing. Not that it matters that much, but... Uh-oh, missionary falls ill. Local missionary strength minus five for a whole year. That's fine, I don't care. It's better than wasting admin points. <laughs> I'm not going to waste points on a missionary. France declared war on Brittany again. Well, bye-bye, Brittany. Yep. We couldn't vassalize them soon enough. Not much we can really do. We can't get relations high enough to vassalize them. But we'll keep trying because we could easily beat France in a war. Isn't that kind of scary when you can easily beat France in a war? <laughs> But, I mean, comparing militaries, 206,000 versus... Uh, oh, actually, he has a lot of military. I'm surprised. He has a ton of military. He's way over his force limit. Wow. Force limit of 70, he's got 110. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. yet? Nope. Oh, there we go. Yes, he does want a loan. Alright, so we just need to get his opinion up. And we can give him a loan. Let's do that. And, um... Mm, need to unrival him. He's not rivaled. No. Then we don't need to unrival him. Okay, just get his opinion up. Still got two years ahead for military. All right. Oh, we can tech up our admin. Do it. Because we're not ahead on admin, are we? Nope. Cool. We can now build the glorious monument, which gives yearly prestige. The glorious monument of... I don't know. Uh, Mara Moros. No. The glorious monument of Grodno. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know anything about Grodno, but now it has a glorious monument. And Bohemia has left the coalition against us. Good. Still at negative 200, but good. Wow, Austria got a 69-year-old cardinal. Congratulations on your old-ass cardinal, Austria. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is applauding you right now. Or maybe they don't care. Okay, colony successful. Go, colony! Twenty-three. Yeah, that's not very close, is it? I guess we could sell him the rest of Iceland. That would remove some of the penalty. That might work. Funge has collapsed. Big frickin' surprise. Converted Ostrov. Okay. Convert more. I wonder how much of Brittany France is going to annex. Probably a lot. Do you have an heir yet? Oh, he had an heir. God damn it. 
so I still need my heir to die. I need my heir to die. Let me take him out of this army. Let me put him in an army that's going to do some rebel hunting like you. I just hope. France has insulted us. Yes, indeed. They have sent us an insult. Pressed issue over borders. So they pressed a claim on us. Where? Here in Baroy. Okay. Well, whatever. Bohemia is embargoing us. Oh, no. My statesman died. Oh, shit. Well, level two statesman it is. I need my heir to die. <laughs> lose stability or lose tradition? I'll lose the stability because I'm at plus three. I don't want to lose army tradition. That means we get crappy generals. Nobody wants crappy generals. Boundary dispute on Brandenburg. Okay. Now we've maxed relations with Brittany. Let me go ahead and... Oh, I can't sell them land while they're at war. Right. But as soon as they peace out, we'll sell them the rest of Iceland. And then we should be able to vassalize them, I think. I think. We can guarantee them we'll be at... Let's see. No, let's, we'll get rid of 20 by selling them land. So we'll be at plus 64. Guarantee them... Um, ally them, give them access. That'll be plus 70. It'll be plus 124. And then we need to give them a gift, plus 149. Mm, how can we get to 190? Enemy of enemy, uh, 169. Still need 21 more points. You know, I don't know. I guess once they are our ally, we could go to war with France and make France give them some land back. And giving them land back would improve relations a bit. Very not sure. Why don't we go ahead and declare war on Ming? That sounds like fun. Hey Ming, how many troops you got? 78,000. What's your tech level? 12. <laughs> Provence does not want to join in my war. Why not, Provence? You should totally join my war against Ming. And that should bring in Sean, right? He is allied with Sean. Yep, Sean has joined. Okay, so we're going to go Protectorate Sean and Protectorate Ming. <laughs> it takes half a year to come back from there. Wow. And you know what? Let's send our heir over to Ming. Can we walk through our protectorate's lands? I think we can. Yes, we can. Good. I really wish the Timurids owned this province so we could walk into Shan, but he doesn't. I guess we could ask for access, huh? Because that probably would be a better way to invade. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go this way, and we'll ask for access through, I don't know, Hindustan or Delhi or something. And then we'll just walk. Uh, who else wants to come over? Let's take you. I choose you. And one more. One more army. One more army. You can't walk. No, you're stuck. All right, we'll take you from Mecklenburg. Let's go. That'll be a party. This is going to take a long time, by the way. But that's okay. We weren't looking at annexing any vassals anytime soon anyway, so that's fine. Timurids are ignoring rebels. What the hell? Look at this. Look at this. The Timurids have 14,000 guys in Molten, 20,000 guys in Central Dobe, and there's only 8k rebels. And he's just completely ignoring them. Look at this. He just doesn't give a fuck. What the hell is wrong with the AI where he won't kill his own rebels next door when he outnumbers them more than two to one? What the fuck is he not doing? And our, we finished our glorious monument. Good. Oh, he is bringing the 14 guys over. What about the 20? Why aren't you using the 20? Nope, the 14 are not helping. They're just going to stand here and look stupid. Go attack your rebels. Please go attack your rebels? What the fuck? 
Oh, Madurai is westernizing off of Portugal. Ha! And he somehow did keep his union over Hindustan, just magically. Wow. Why are you not killing your rebels, Timurids? What kind of an idiot doesn't kill his own rebels? Well, obviously you. It's not like he's in a war or anything. He's just not doing it. Peasant revolt, whatever. Oh no, two, 2,000 enemies, no! Okay, Diplomat has arrived. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah. Netherlands, how's the relationship? Do you want a loan? No. Oh, yes he does, okay. Perfect. There we go. There you go. Have a loan. Because Burgundy has cores all over your dumbass. Dumbass! So he's still not attacking them. He's just ignoring them entirely. What the fuck? What the hell, AI? Go, go kill your rebels. It's just so stupid. Let's see if we can't vassalize Provence. Um, give them a hundred bucks. We'll give them access and we'll bring relations up. And that should be it. guarantee them. That'll do it. It's a little faster than going for uh, improved relations. Just a little bit. Because then we can just annex right away. We don't have to really wait. And that's probably the easiest way to get rid of one of our relationships. Because what are we at? 9 out of 8? Yeah. So we can bring it down to 8 out of 8 just by annexing Provence. That works. Now, do you have any claims or cores anywhere? Uh, just Baroy. Alright, why don't I sell you Baroy? Because I don't need that. And besides, France has a claim on it. Yeah, let me sell you Baroy. That will soften relations with France. Oh, we killed the Timurids rebels for them because he's too lazy. Look at this. We walked all the way from Poland. We walked all the way from Poland over here and killed the rebels. And the Timurids never left Central Dove. There is something incredibly wrong with the AI where even at peace, he's unwilling to kill his own rebels. It doesn't make any sense, but there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and get access through Delhi. Okay, now you're gonna go siege it? Okay, good. Then I'll go invade Sean. Sounds like fun. Let's see, who else do we need relations with? Let's go for uh, Bavaria. Oh, we already did. Brandenburg? Might as well. Where's my third army? There it is. All right, good. Oh, one sec. Let me queue up some files. 63. 63.2. And 63.3. Go ahead and run the queue. Alright, good. 
Oh, Brittany and France pieced out. What was the peace deal? He took over everything but their capital. Okay, so I can sell you the other half of Iceland now. Now we can just go to war with France to... Um, get, get him his land back. Where's your army, Sean? Or are you too pussy to fight me? I think Sean might be a puss puss. Oh, there he is. Hello. I'm going to drop a siege here. Let's go beat you up with my air. And hopefully my air will die. I really hope my air will die. Oh, he's running away. God damn it. Don't run away. I want to give you hugs with my guns. I bring guns. Don't you like guns? Um, the Ottomans in Portugal. Portugal will cede Fuguig, Melilla, and Fez to the Ottomans. You'll give Sus to Morocco, Safi to Morocco, and Ifni to Morocco. So he gave up six lands in total. Wow. Are we still ahead? Nope. Okay, take the attack. Very good. Oh, new cannon. That's nice. Swivel cannon. Okay. Everyone likes cannons. Let's throw our cannons to uh, Sean. Where's his army? God damn it. He's just... Stop pussing out, Sean. We're going to need probably like 90% for this guy to protect it, so it's going to take a t some time, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and sell you. Oh, I can't. Why not? Oh, we can't sell provinces while we're at war. God damn it. Of course we can't. Of course. Um, we should just annex Silesia, huh? When can we annex you? All right, get relations up. Because I don't need you as a vassal if I can't get you any more land. Okay. Still no visual on his army. He came out to, to play and then he went home. I guess he th didn't know that we were going to play rough? Of course we're going to play rough. It's the only way we know how to play. More conversions. Very good. Oh my god, we, don't, we no longer have a scroll bar for our religious conversion window. That means Catholicism is pretty much everywhere. Look at that. We're about to stamp out Orthodoxy. There will be no Orthodox provinces in the world as soon as we're done with our conversions. Wow. Ah, <laughs> goodbye, Orthodoxy. Hello, Catholicism. The general has died. Oh, man, why can't my heir die? He's leading an army here. Stupid heir. Oh, did the Netherlands renege on the loan? I don't think they did. It'd be cool if this would separate out into something that you could actually fucking read. Nope, they haven't reneged on the loan. Damn it. At least not yet. All right, let's get rid of access through Delhi. Oh, do we have anyone almost done? Yes, you're done, okay. There we go. Where is your army, Sean? Damn it, Pope. 
Leave my cardinals alone. I still don't see his army. Where the fuck is your army? Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, let's get another general. Ooh, a 3 4 5. I'd rather have the 5 on fire or shock, but whatever. Better than nothing. Well, there's a small army. I can't sell you land while we're at war, right. But we can marry them and guarantee them and ally them and all that stuff, which is probably a good first step considering we're still making some points, but six of those points are going to go away when our king dies. Um, no, it's fine. I think. It should be fine. Gain 12,000 man. Mohican is westernizing. Okay. All right. Let's get that new general over here and come join the army, will you? Would my heir please die? I really want to get the Divaloy dynasty so I can go claim France's throne. Ooh. Gain prestige or gain papal influence? I'll take the papal influence. Because I don't need either, so thank you. And goes Gauda. I have 165 extra points just chilling. There we go. Oh, he wants to party. All right. Party all night. Let me use my air. Come on, air, get in there and die. <laughs> no, my air didn't die. Shit. Ah, oh, yeah, go to Senwi. Found some copper. So we've only colonized three provinces, and so far we found iron, iron, and copper. That's so good. I love metals. Oh, there's a 58 stack. Now we're talking. Let's party in Kachin. Changed his fucking mind. He doesn't want to party in Kachin. Where are you going now, bro? Oh my god, look at how short this list is now. Where are you going? You're running to Keng Tung. Alright, I'll stay right here then. Hindustan is westernizing. Okay. This stupid dance the AI does is really annoying and, and just downright stupid. He's going to go back and forth saying, I'm going here, and then 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 I'm going here, and I'm going here. And he's just going to keep doing that. It's so stupid. Uh, 
again and again and again. I've read this book before, Ming. I know how it ends. The same way. Every time. Three free Diplos. Uh, work on the Oirats. And... Choctaw? Yeah. Top them off. Oh, and there's Rebels again, and the Timrids are not putting them down. Oh, shit, Timrids are full of Rebels. Shiite Zealots, Shiite Zealots, Shiite Zealots, Shiite Zealots. Pretender Rebels. Whoa. Pretender Rebels. Whoa! Oh, Kazan's got Rebels too. Uzbek Nationalists. Uh, we should probably help out with these rebels, really. Uh, fine. Take the Moskva army. I don't really have a general, but that's okay. Let's go kill them. I don't know why he's not attacking them. Oh, he is. Alright. Fine. We'll kill these guys instead. And then down there. And we'll see where you are when those are done. In the meantime, here's the same bullshit. Back and forth, back and forth can't make up his mind because his only task is to avoid my army. Therefore, he's going to keep changing where he goes to avoid my army again and again and again. So stupid. I think we broke his brain. <laughs> now he's just standing there. Do have a free diplomat, sir. Yeah, go top off over here. Any good missions? Not really. Conquer Moravia. Yeah, let's just go to war with the Emperor again. Not that that's a problem, but you don't always want to be at war all the time. Not with Europe. Okay, our king died, and we have a new heir. Oh, crap. God, this guy sucks at diplomacy. Although our heir is good. 4-4-3 four, four, heir, not bad. It's too bad we don't... It's too bad we already have an heir, if that makes any sense. It's too bad, because I wanted to switch over to France's dynasty. Oh, France is hostile now. Oh well, looks like France is going to be our mortal enemy from now on. Um, there we go, we'll just set them as a rival. Whatever. We can still get their throne. They, they might still wind up with our dynasty, or we might wind up with theirs, because we do have a marriage. So that's always going to be a possibility. And if he has, like, a hunting accident where his heir dies, then maybe he will wind up with our dynasty. Who knows? Oh, you are actually going to come attack me in his Senwi. All right. Bring it on, bitch. Nope, he changed his mind. He's going to Keng Tong.
Are we going to have to do this dance again? Really? Nope, this time he's going to let it happen. All right. We're actually going to have a rumble in Kang Tung. Can we get there first? Uh, yes, we will. Oh, now he changed his mind again. Of course. Oh, look, we have to do this stupid dance again. dance is so stupid. Come on, Paradox. You can do better than this. <laughs> no, I'm going to go that way. 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 All day long. I think we'll just let him attack a Senwi now. Where's my third general? Yeah, let me get you out of there. Oh shit, rebels. Didn't even notice. Auto hunt. Oh, you won't... Auto hunt really should work in Vassal's land. Like, you should be able to designate which provinces you want auto hunt to work on. And you should be able to select anyone's land, really. Like, if you have military access through someone, you should be able to select their lands for auto hunt. But no, auto hunt just goes only in your provinces. So it will not hunt this rebel right next to me. So I'm going to have to manually click over there, which sucks because I don't want to have to pay... I don't want to have to babysit that much. Does that make any sense? I don't want to have to do that. I want to have the freedom to do my war and not have to worry about, you know, rebels spawning and flipping land back away from my vassal, which is exactly what's happening. Anywho, uh, we need to end this episode here. Sorry for 37-minute episode. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.